Hello to you. My name is Maria Konjelska and this is Poland Daily Culture. Today our topic is still a movie, I'll find you. With me in the studio is Bożena Intrator, one of the co-producers and one of the screenwriters of a movie, I'll find you, which is American story, or I would say international, about Poland. It takes place in the 30s in Łódź, or starts there, and show how international the city was, how international the people were, how very well educated, and how courageous, of course, also because their world, they, I would say also very uh, comfortable, elegant, wealthy world collapses because of the war. Mm -hmm. And as, as we already talked in the previous episode, in this movie takes part actors from Poland, such as Kozuchowska, but also from, uh, I would say, international. So Stellan Skarsgård, Connie Nielsen, and Steven Dorf. Steven Dorf. And so it's, it's a co-production of many others. And we find out it is also a co-production when it comes to producing. So cameraman uh, and the lights and other technicians were also Polish, yes? Well, uh, we use many, many people in Poland, you know, the local crew, because uh, this seems to be natural. And uh, our American and international crew members, they worked very well with the Polish crew members. And some of the Polish crew members, they are working all the time in, in the States and in Germany, in Western Europe, you know, they are going back and forth. This is nothing new. New is that we are telling a Polish story in that way and we are trying With to... With so many Polish elements in yes. it, because there is a part of, I would say, Polish history in, a, in mm -hmm. it, you even, even add such elements. What was the last wish of Chopin? Yes. It's to bring his heart back mm -hmm. from Paris to Poland, yeah. which by the way was taken by his sister in a handbag. But <laughs> just <laughs> imagine this. But yeah. of course, so for a Polish person, it's like, wow, uh, cool that international audience will learn all of those aspects. And moreover, international audience will see Poland from I mean, stylish part, uh, elegant way with uh, houses with servants, houses where which people were so well educated, and also houses where I mean, in society where people are from different backgrounds, so Jewish, German, Russian, Polish, and they perfectly live together. So well, they are all Polish, you know, because yes. they were born in Poland. They have chosen to live in woods, you know, in Poland, because uh, their businesses or whatever brought them there uh, some generations before, and they really liked where they were, and they preferred to live there uh, to other places, you know, to Germany or to Russia. So with, with the suburb, I would say, complexes and problems that, uh, that Poland is not international enough, Right now, it's not true. We are. Oh, we were. We very were, much. yeah. Now, you know, we had different faces of the history. Uh, a lot of, uh, in the story, you know, I was basing the story on many, many true stories, you know. Uh, among them, the financing producer, John Raczynski, and on my own family story. You know, my family emigrated before the First World War to the States, and then uh, Poland got liberated, they came back, and then there was the Second World War, you know, and part of them had to emigrate after the Second World War because they were in Akka. And so so. It's, it's complicated, it's mixed, and it shows... That's our story. That it's not black Polish. and white fully. No. But because they are good Germans, they are bad Germans. Yes. Uh, and they are basically, well, trying to fight Hitler and make the main characters survive. Yes, but we have to. We had to show also the bad sides of the war, you know, because that is the truth. They were very, very bad things happening. Many people did not survive the war. Some managed to survive, but really, our story, our film, is not about the, the war. Is the background, and this is really a huge, huge love story. It's about passion. 
passion, not only for each other, the main characters have this great passion for each other, but also for music. Music is so important to them. This is like one of the characters of our film, like the city yeah, of Yeah, of Woods. course, and I would mm -hmm. say music brings them together, yes. they, they keep it them together and they also keep them alive mm -hmm. in the worst circumstances. Mm -hmm. So a passion to something. Yeah. It's their card, I would say, to, yeah. to be out there. And Fred Roos, uh, we, we just received uh, this award, Doors uh, to Freedom, from NNVU, from the festival that took place in Gdynia a few days ago. And Fred Roos sent a message uh, that I read thanking for the award and he said he's very proud of that film. He feels that uh, there's a need to tell stories like that about... I would say that Hollywood needs to, I mean, if Hollywood finds out and uh, recognize Poland and those times as a source of uh, stories and interesting elements, uh, then I, I can say they open doors for many, many other productions and parts because, of course, this, this time uh, was, I would say, was, uh, was really full of dramatic events, but also very different people. I've recently learned a story about Nina Novak, a ball Polish ballet dancer who made a huge career out there. So, uh, and this movie, your movie, I'll Find You, also shows an similar element that uh, like education in those times in Poland was one of the highest and the best and that they had uh, huge opportunities that they were very international people living in um, I mean, they, they live in Łódź but they have contacts in Berlin Prague Switzerland and also that how uh, how the society kind of worked together yeah but uh we talked about it previously. What I really wanted to say when I was talking about Fred was that he said that this type of love stories are a little bit forgotten. They were being shot in previous times, but in the last 20 years, there weren't that many big love stories. And this is like bringing back a love story to screen a beautiful, romantic love story. So. Yeah, because they do love each other. At first, she, uh, we can just, first, I mean, the main just lady a is, bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is engaged with someone else yeah. and is an element of, I would say, traditional family because yes. she's asked mm -hmm. to just to be a mother mm -hmm. and to forget about her dreams mm -hmm. of music. Yeah. And there she needs to kind of risk for something else. Yeah, there were still a little different times, you know, for women. We have much more, many more opportunities, you know. We can work, we can uh, fulfill our dreams uh, in the working field. Uh, in Back then, you know, being a woman wasn't so... It wasn't so obvious that obvious, it, yes. <laughs> someone would have the, a career. Yeah, it would perhaps even be seen as something not proper, I don't know. Might be, might be true, but still the, the woman is choosing. And I yes. guess that mm -hmm. the war, uh, it's, it's, I would say I've, I felt myself um, in the same moment because they had their plans. Uh, I, I could kind of find myself in the story in a way that there are young people with their plans, with their passions, with their trying to figure out what they want in life and suddenly comes a war and it completely changes their perspective and also their, their real scale of like what they want in life. Even we can see this from, from the perspective of the mother because suddenly what was important before the war it's not any more important. The, the main things, like it's not any more important to bring your daughter and to, to, to secure her financial situation. The most important is the fact that she survives and that she has an element of real life, at least for a few days, maybe a few, we few weeks. So this, this moment when, um, and I would say it, it, it's, it's an element of the movie which like we, all of us can kind of think ourselves to be there because, I mean, such a kind of war could could have happened even right now. And the way how their, their uh, needs are changed is... Yeah, but portrayed. you know, in any situation, love is always very important to us human beings. 
perhaps this is the most important thing in life. I, at least I believe in that. I wrote quite a few theatre plays and many song lyrics, and I always write about love. This is what I am interested in writing about, you know. So to you, the viewers of Berlin Daily, if you are tired of war films, which only show the horrors, but you want a romantic story, which tells a story about love, but also takes place in Poland, as it is an international production, the movie I'll Find You is definitely for you. And thank you very much for being with us.